Andrea, and with me today is Trinity Munson and PJ Firma. This is KCLI News at 10. On our top story for today, step back in history to know more about the sixth president, John Kassiak. Now, let's go all the way back to July 11th, 1767. This was the day that John Quincy Adams was born. In 1797, he got married to Lozana Johnson. On February 23rd, 1848, he died on the U.S. Capitol on February 21st. He had a massive stroke, and he was ill to move him out of the Capitol building, and he fell into a coma. Two days later, he died. John Quincy Adams was the second child and the eldest son of the second president of the United States. Washington appointed Adams minister to the Netherlands. The French invaded the country three days after Adams arrived and overthrew the Dutch Republic on a special assignment in London. As you can see, here is a brief timeline on John Quincy Adams. One of the most important parts was from 1825 to 1829 when he served as sixth president of the United States. It is a snowy day today in Clear Lake. Gloves on, but I'll go back Thank to you, you Paige. Now back to John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams was a Democrat and Republican. When John Quincy Adams was being elected, he almost lost. Andrew Jackson had the most popular votes and the most electoral votes. <clears throat> None of the candidates reached majority, though, so it was left to the House of Representatives to decide who became president. They voted and they chose John Quincy Adams as president. He only removed 12 men from their positions in government, far less than any other president of the United States. There was a tariff abomination, however, in the time that John Quincy Adams was president. The northern region was neutral on the topic. The western region wanted the tariff rate raised so that they could compete with Europeans to sell goods. The South region didn't want tariff to be raised because they relied on European goods a lot. The government decided that they would raise the tariff and Southerners were furious. Andrew Jackson decided he would use this against John Adams in the next election. John Quincy Adams had a mellow economy. They were going to they were doing well economically after the War of 1812, but they faced a lot of debt they had to pay off as America continued its expansion westward. John Quincy helped the anti-slavery, and when he was in present, when he was the president, the White House was burned down, and there was, and now there's no slavery or segregation, and there's now a new White House. They were in debt in 1812. Their taxes were imported goods. And Andrew D Jackson decided that he could use it against John Quincy Adams in an election. John Adams was known for his famous election of 1824 that he famously won against Andrew Jackson. And another thing he was famous for was the building of the Erie Canal that helped the country out economically.